Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I am your host, Jack. And this, like many others, is another video tutorial of Photoshop Elements 7. This technique I'm going to show you today is something that's new to Elements 7. So, if you have 6, I'm sorry, um, but I'm just going to show this. You may be able to do this same kind of thing in 6, and maybe I'll play around with it later today. And if I can uh, figure out how to do it, then I'll uh, also give you an updated video on uh, how to do this in 6. But 7 makes it very, very easy to brighten uh, eyes. Because a lot of times when we're taking portraits, um, and you know somebody looks at the picture, you want the eyes to really pop. You want the eyes to uh, enlighten the person, so the picture almost looks like the picture's looking back at you. So what I wanted to do was show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get a... Uh, a picture here and this is something I like to call of a uh, self-portrait what we're going to use is a uh, picture of my stepdaughter here as you can see by her arm length this is a definite self-portrait she was holding the camera out and uh, she loves snapping pictures of herself so we're going to go ahead and use her we're going to right click on the picture in our organizer and we're going to go to full edit once you're in full edit mode Go up to View and fit the screen. Now the first thing I've noticed about this picture uh, when I was playing around with it a little while ago was it's very dark. So the first thing we want to do is enlighten the picture a little bit. So let's go ahead and duplicate our background copy. And then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to work with levels as an adjustment layer. Sorry about my nose. Uh, I still got that slight cold that I had uh, a week ago. Let's go ahead and pull the uh, brightness up here a little bit and brighten her up. Let's uh, work on the contrast a little bit. So we can actually see her eyes to begin with. Uh, it was really dark before. We don't want to make it too light because then we're going to overexpose it and blow the picture out. So let's try to get rid of a little bit more of those shadows in the back here. That looks pretty good. Okay, now that we have her brightened up and we can actually see her face, we have something to work with. So now we're going to use the new tool um, that's in Photoshop Elements 7, and I found it makes it really easy to make the eyes pop out or come alive. First thing we want to do, though, whenever you're working on a part of a picture, don't try to get in here like this and try to work on those eyes. It's too small. It's too hard for you to see uh, if you're making any mistakes. What we want to do is use the magnifying glass and just hold your left mouse button and drag over top of it and pull it down. And we can do it again. We can actually get it up there a little higher, maybe even a little bit more. Now we can work with the eyes. That's what we're working on is these eyes. We want to be able to see those. If you want to bring it up a little bit more, you can definitely do that. There you go. You're not too much worried about the rest of the picture, actually. You're just worried about the eyes ourselves. So let's go here. Now we're going to concentrate on the eyes. Now the new tool is the Smart Brush tool. I've showed you this before, and there's some differences between 6 and 7. This actually just came out with 7. So we're going to pick the Smart Brush tool. And up here at the top is different things we can do with our Smart Brush tool. Today we're looking at portraits. And we're going to go right up here to brighten the eyes. Double click on that. Now you can see down here there's this little, I don't know what you'd call that, I guess a little uh, Smart Tool. There's a plus and a minus up here that we can brighten the eyes. Now look how little the brush is right now. That's not going to work for us. We want to pop and we want to make the eyes come alive. So what we want to do is we want to go up to our brush size and get a bigger diameter brush. Because you want to fit over top the eye. Once you get it adjusted, keep that little crosshair, if you can see that crosshair, inside the pupil and click. You can already see how much more we just adjusted the eyes. To get rid of it if it's too high up there, adjust your brush size down a little bit. Bring your brush size down so you can work in there. Hit the minus button because you're going to take away a little bit of this. And just click your left mouse button and just touch it in there a little bit to get that back down around there. If you make a mistake, we can bring it back up a hair. And we'll take away this side a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good on that eye. We can actually probably take a little bit here off the eyelid. 
There we go. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to do the same thing with this eye. Go back up once again to your brush tool. We're going to adjust this up to... Uh, that eye is a little smaller because you can see it's on the one side of the picture. It's kind of away from the camera. Hit the plus here so we can add to our selection basically. And click over here. Now you can see we actually adjusted that side. Again, we're going to have to take a little bit here off the eyelids. So drop your diameter your brush size down. Just go in here and we're going to adjust this down just a little bit like that. That looks pretty good as long as both eyes are covered and you want to try not to get too much on the eyelid because we don't want the eyeball going over the eyelid. That doesn't look natural. You want this picture to end up looking as natural as possible. Now once you get to that point you can also adjust the brightness. You have them both selected. If you come over here to your mask Right here, there's a layer thumbnail. Double click that. That brings up the levels palette. And we can actually take this and we can adjust those eyes and make them even brighter. Watch how bright we can get them. There you go. Let's bring those up a little bit more. And also play with the contrast of the eyes. Just like that. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead up to uh, here. We're going to let this go here to select just the eyes okay and then we'll go up here and we'll hit uh, deselect oh, I'm sorry deselect now let's go up to view and fit this to the screen and there you go you can see the eyes are a lot brighter here now there you go that's the change we made when it's coming up as blue but I lost the levels for the background here because this actually took the same levels palette so what we're gonna do is I mean the mask so what we're going to do is go to Enhance and Adjust Lighting, and we'll go to Levels up here. We'll adjust the lighting again. Let's brighten this up a little bit more. Oop, a little bit too much there. All right, now at that point you can see that we have a lot brighter eyes. Let's look at the original. There's the original. Look how dark those are. Even with the with the uh, levels turned down. Brighten it back up. Let's turn the eyes back on. Off. On. Now you can see how the eyes are actually popping out at you. They're actually uh, standing out and looking back at you. That's the way you want your eyes to look in every portrait. So if your lighting's a little bit off, you can still go ahead and work with that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on brightening eyes, is what we're going to call this uh, little featured video. And thanks to everybody for subscribing. If you notice, we are over 1,000 subscribers. I never thought I would see the day that I would have over 1,000 subscribers. But thanks to everybody out there for viewing the shows. Thanks for commenting and writing in. You know, that's a great way to get me to uh, create new videos for you. Um, You've seen uh, the last video was based on a, a, basically an email asking me how to create a CD cover. So if you want to send a video or a, um, a message in, by all means, drop me an email uh, through YouTube. I read all the comments that you post and I read all the messages. Also, if you care to help the show out, I always look for a, a helping hand and I'm asking for two things this week. First, if you write music, if you want to write the intro uh, to the show, please go ahead and create some kind of MP3 file with some intro music and email that to me at, uh, just send it over to jackstechcorner at gmail.com. Uh, you could even zip it up if you want to make it a little smaller. Just a little short thing. The intro is not real long, but if you're a music writer, by all means, please send me something in. Another way to help the show is... I always ask for little donations. Go to jackstechcorner.com, click on the little donate button, and you can use anything, folks. You can use a, a credit card in there. You can use a, uh, a debit card. Um, we've had some very nice people out there donate, and, and I really do appreciate that. It also gets you uh, better quality videos because you'll be able to go over to the donator site at jacks, uh, jackstechcorner.com. I put high-quality flash videos up there. And uh, they look really, really sensational. So until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Keep those cameras clicking. Keep the editors editing. 
I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.